Wait a minute. Turn, Where am I going? Turn. <laughs> turn. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, these controls. Oh, am I too much? Oh, okay. <laughs> I get a view of what it would be like to teach a kid to drive right now. They have to be in this designated area. I, it's oh. better because if it's parked, then you can transfer things in. Okay, run him over. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Oh. Incoming. Oh my gosh, crap, my stamina is so much lower. The armor's gone! Okay. And and earn standing to promote or recruit to citizen. I guess well, it automatically does that. No, it doesn't. But we'll get to that. Just get get him in base. Yeah, get him safe, right? Mm -hmm. Get him safe. And then when he's in here, when you think he's safe, talk to him. Yes. And say oh dismiss. Well, this first. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now dismiss What's him. What's happening? Dismiss Polly. Don't get dead, okay? Okay, now he is here. Okay. Okay. So, from this point, you can. This is where you can switch to him or hand him guns and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't have any other primaries. Then he's stuck with. I them. have a lot of secondaries for the primaries. Oh, there you go. Then he's stuck with that. Look, we really oh, actually, have to replenish our supply of construction material. Uh, is there a way to get quickly give it from the inventory to one of the followers? No. No, okay, so let's do Hey this. you Access inventory. And Over here, fuck face. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Okay. They're all Let's different. See. Can we fucking go already? That's funny. Jeez. Why not? <laughs> Attitude. <laughs> Okay, so I could strengthen the base or address the zombie threat. Well, like I said, whatever you, you want to do. More ammo. These but guns I are going to learn fancy door base. stops. Yeah, then we can go. We can go do that. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have to go back out. Yes. Yes, we Yay. do. <laughs> Isn't it? That's the best, man. Oh my gosh. Car yeah. looks that was my driving. <laughs> okay, so number, yeah. another thing. To keep yourself yeah. safe and not die, A, uh -huh. the gas can never go below the ha the meter mark. It's just like your health, right? Never let it go okay. below so half. I add gas. Yes, and you should clear out your, your car because you want to add more. You want to bring more back. You don't want to get there and realize you have no room. You know? So the materials are just transfer, right? Yeah, transfer in. I do that again it was look at the bottom the right transfer to base and you can do that with all your items in there so all that stuff that's yours just transfer it to the base i should keep a toolkit though right yeah i would always recommend a toolkit and a gas can yeah. but you know limited space i understand oh, wait, wait, no get out no get out this one feral took out three doors. I know. He's angry. Okay, that was, I believe, my last gas can. Probably is. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna go put something in there real quick. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, come back. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you're right. You're here. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't have to leave. You can do it from your inventory too. It doesn't only have to be in the trunk. Oh, okay. So that's why you have now, to. What is K bar? K bar. What? what? kind of thing you ever stop carrying? Oh, okay. I guess it. Oh, it's the knife. Okay. There you go. 
Um, I just wanted to see if I had any gas in my inventory. Go for it. I don't know if I did. How do you convert like samples to the medicine? You need, med you hey need medical. So it takes two medical and five plague samples to create a cure. And you come over here and craft them. Speaking of which. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how do you craft them? I, I just told you. Yeah. Plague cure, that's the one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But careful, though. It takes a lot of medicine from you. Like, two doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I only have two left. Okay, well, I have one. Okay, cool. I strongly suggest nobody gets sick until now, we can resupply put that our in meds. in the car, right? In the car, keep it in your pocket, yeah. If you are really worried about it, yeah. Um, yeah, my meter's already at halfway, so... Okay, well, what you can do, Ed, right... Oh, I have it already. Okay. Cool. Well, you, if she's halfway, come over here, right? Come back to the infirmary, yeah. right? Uh huh. Check her in. I mean, she's she's too sick to go out. And it's. It's the first one. It looks like a skull. Oh, I should check Radiant too, right? Because he's. It, it will it will tell you yeah if they're all pretty bad you want to check them in if it, but you only have one bed so you can only check oh, one okay. person in right now and uh, I'm gonna take it easy until kay. I feel better well, there you go so now she will heal that off all that will come off her for free you just have to wait oh, yeah okay cool and then uh, you uh. Go to your community page. Okay. This is the third oh. most important thing. Okay. Hover over one and, and say open closet. Okay. No. Fashion, oh, yes. fashion wars. Yep. <laughs> Sick to biker jacket. You get one hat Gee. and a uniform. And if you if you play during Christmas, you get ugly sweaters for free. It's really funny. Nice. Is there a way to pre? You have to click on them to preview them, right? You yeah. You can't just quickly like scroll down. Yeah, yeah. But you can also favorite them. So if you really like one and you want to use it later, you can favorite it, and it makes a shorter list of all your favorites. Yeah, I'm just look at it real quick. Go for it. I know what fashion worth entails. Don't you worry. Oh my gosh, a shark hoodie. Let's do that for now. Oh, you got a shark hoodie? Nice. Yeah, I don't know from where. Yeah, I'm glad they're making that. I love that one. A raincoat? Wow. <laughs> These yellow raincoats are hilarious. I don't know, you found some. I have I a bloater inside. You can find them just by looting. Looting or doing Screamer bounties. Screamer here. Oh, a pirate jacket sounds fun, but I don't have it. Yeah. I'll show you how to get that later. You just actually missed it. It's Sea of Thieves. Uh. But it will come back, don't you worry. Alright, and then come and find me when you're done. I gotta show you another very vital thing. And you can. And make sure you fashion wars everyone. Oh, okay. This is the third most important because you you personalize your characters. So when they die, you cry. It's more meaningful. That was so sarcastic slash sweet tone. It sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore. Yep. This actually is a really good place to start. Even though I hate the driving sometimes, everything else is great. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so you can fashion wards of any way you want. All uniforms or give certain people jobs, like, give up. So you, when you're trying to, re, you know. Okay, a big reason why fashion wards is important, right? Let's say you make a heavy. You can dress You can dress all your heavies in one area, like a uniform for heavy, so you know that that's your heavy, you know? Yeah. Because everyone will have different skills. No, like, chef's outfit, is there? I think so. At least not that I have. That's pretty cool. This raincoat outfit is so hilarious that I kind of want to equip it. You can do it. It's just so, like, what is that? Yeah, you can do whatever, man. Uh, Alright, let's, let's go with... And the more you play, the more you get. And when I show you uh, bounties, that's how you get more cosmetics, which I always recommend. Those would be the first bounties you do. Okay, there we go. Forty meters that way. Oops. Okay, so you got it. Everyone's all fashion wars up. Yep. One second, I should be probably right take a break before mm -hmm. I fall over. Okay, these. Oh, you... that's cool. Okay, so if we go back to the infirmary, mm -hmm. I should see her laying down in a raincoat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh my see? gosh. Third most important rule. What's Whoa. up? Oh yeah, <laughs> you got the yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <Her> raincoat outfit. <laughs> okay. If I ever get a. a, a older character with a beard i totally mm -hmm. want to give him that so he could be the, the gordon fisherman oh my you should <laughs> all right so you come up here this is very vital for uh planning out what you're gonna do all right it's called surveying work never in back in a while dark oh my gosh i guess it is that's why dark could be worthwhile to climb up and get a better look around Oh, this is a long staircase. Yep. It's a tower. Yeah. So yeah, aim. Survey the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. So you can see what's around you without having to go out there. Urgent care, market. A house with a nice view. Ooh, I found tax prep. That's gonna come in handy. All the way. Army outfitters. And just keep going until it says everything surveyed. It's like an orange bar. I guess I have to go on this side too, right? No, you can stay in one spot. Just look around. Huh. Rangers I just oh. found a flock of undead. I just went around the entire thing. Why? Well, still and it still says you have some. Yeah. Yeah. We'll look around. Look oh, down. All sides surveyed. There we go. Okay, so you're good. So now, when you hit map, so hit your map, right? Mhm. Mm when you hover over it now, it will tell you what what could potentially be there or what benefits it will give if you capture it. Okay. Ugh. 
But yeah. All right, now we want to get we want to get materials because injuries will not heal unless we have an infirmary too. All right. So now we can go. And also, what you can do too, if you don't want to like search that way, you can radio. You can radio and say, "Hey, I need I need Yo. materials," and it will and it will do it for you. Yeah, we finished. Yeah, we finished something. I don't know what that was. I was surveying. Oh, cool! Hey, free bunny. Oh, you get it too. That's cool. Yeah, whatever you get, I get. Yeah. So you got a hundred also. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why co-oping is fun. New uh, vehicle upgrades. Hey, skill, buddy, old pal. Not a lot. Of oh, good. Oh, nice. Dude, I love Gwent. Final Fantasy, man. Oh, there's a lot of them out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I kind of want to kill them so I don't ruin the car. Go for it. And if you kill uh, them all, I, if you kill them all, we get uh, we get influence. I don't so. have a lot of ammo. So. Yep, you gotta fight them hand to hand then. Where you're dodging in your attacks. Best way is to knock him down. I'm spit. Oh my god, he's got the stamina so much lower. <laughs> yep, because he's not a soldier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have a silencer? Yep. That is But remember, my silencer's not completely silent, so they hear it a little bit. Yeah, but compared to my rifle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm trying to do strengthen the base, so I have to move to the self storage site. Okay. Yep. And you can you yep. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Man, these controls are so weird. Alright. Keyboard and mouse is weird on these kind of games. Is it easy on the controller? Oh, yeah. Okay. Might be it. I'm going to defend it as it's that. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just saying that, yeah. That's exactly it. Okay, now where do I have to go? Uh, left, okay. Okay, there's a lot of them. Is there a way to go around? Uh, you tell me, man. Your logistics. Yeah, it's all red here. Yeah, Must be a plague heart around. I don't know. Probably don't plague know. zombies. Okay, I'll teach you how to fish, man. <laughs> All right. Nice. What? I didn't even see that. It's like a shovel that somehow stopped the car. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's a house. Darn, I thought that was an empty car. Okay. I don't know that's where to go. That's a car. That's a trash can. Yeah, I thank you. <laughs> the narrator of this tale. Just don't stop around hordes. <laughs> God. Sorry, I just... That's all good. Don't that say sorry. Just keep trying. I just don't know where to, to get there. It's okay. I believe in you. Uh huh. That leads back to the base. Yeah. Blue leads to your objective, is where I put it. I don't even see blue. Look around. Yeah, I know. I am. I don't see it. Okay, look towards the orange then. Oh, okay. Now I do. Okay. How do you get there? You can look at your map. We're pretty safe here. I'll let you know if we're we're not. So. I'll be on the lookout. I. No. Are you kidding me? Going there, though. Yes, you were. But then. Oh. Roads are very helpful. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Austin Power. Right 
challenging part of this game, and it's not the zombies. <laughs> okay. I suspect I'll find plenty of materials. Oh, uh, no. Okay, I'm getting out. Big old oh, shovel. It's not much. Nice. I think that's a heavy weapon. Yeah, it is. Cool. That's what I think. You, if you want to tell, you press I and then it hover over it. It will say shovel and then it will tell you what kind of weapon it is. Heavy. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Cool. Heavies are really useful. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. Search the trash self-storage site for a rucksack of materials. So I see a magnifying glass, but there's nothing there. Yeah, because it says the area. It says the whole uh, storage okay. unit, yeah. Oh, that just rings the nope. bell. Right, don't let go. Whoops. Yeah. We'd have been in trouble without this. Ooh, auto parts. Okay. Now return home. Here we go again. No, I want to go the other way. There we go. I'm getting a good idea how Ed drives in real life, too. Dude, this is the opposite of how I drive in real life. <laughs> what, you, you speed in real life? Is that what you're saying? No, in real <laughs> life, I don't hit things. <laughs> I hope not. All right, where, sure, it's going to be through map? the roof. That's not good. That's just terrifying. Is that it? Nope. I just don't see the arrow. That's what's messing with me. I'm trying to find it. Oh, okay, there it is. Would it help you if I ping it and then you just go to it? Yeah. Okay. Now I see it. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, god, don't slow down, don't slow down, don't slow down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> god. It's good to see your ugly mugs. Is that considered part? When you get in the car, it will tell you. On top left. There you go. Now you're now it is. Wow. Okay, so you have to I'm really feeling a lot better now. Res resource rucksack is going to your storage facility, not your supply locker. Hey you can, there. You can do it through the car or throw it here. Yeah. Okay. Here's the missing piece. With those materials, we can start building any time. Putting up a workshop would let us repair broken weapons. Oh, it makes you. Oh. Darn it. Huh? Anyway. Check. Open the base screen to start construction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have two open slots. Yep, you have two. Two small. So. Workshop, beds, a bathroom, rain collector. What is our priority? The prior well, the priority is an infirmary too, so you can start healing your guys. And also, you have a free bed open, so I'll check in someone else. Because oh. the, the more you cure people, the more money you get. So every time someone is cured of infection, you get money. No treatment necessary except oh Brady. I don't think I'm gonna get better without help. Well, there you go, Brady. Go for it, Brady. So it wants you to construct a, a workshop. So construct a workshop. 
because I will get you more money because it's, it's a it's a base thing. Now what? Open the map to activate a new mission. Back to uh, address the zombie threat. Unless we want attention <laughs> okay, from so. the we should avoid being too loud. Yep, there you go. So now we have to go deal with, with them. Let me see if any ammo works. The best for way guy. to keep the peace is by heading off problems before they start. Ugh. Claiming that military site I saw on the way into town would send a message. Okay, it's people coming five, in would definitely notice our presence. Five. Plus, we get a steady supply of ammo. <laughs> Okay, so destroy the infestation of this station. Yeah, but before that, because you need people, right? Uh -huh. Check your radio again. I have to actually go to the radio, or is there a hotkey? Remember, it's the ability. You press like I, tab over to radio abilities. Okay, yes. Find resources. Uh, still need, it's a minute cooldown for five Hey everyone, survivors. come see the shiny new addition to the base. Okay. So we can wait 60 seconds. Go find some more people. How many should I have? <laughs> it's a trick a question. Lot, right? A lot, yeah. You should, as many as you can hold, find, you know. Mm -hmm. The max you can recruit is nine. The max you can have is 16. Okay. But again, remember, like I said, the more people you know, the more trades you can do, which means the higher chance you can survive. So, because they can sell bullets, guns, anything you need, you know. Yeah. You okay. guys can't get rid of me that easily. Cool. What's next? He he's cured. Now he's yeah. What's next is we need an infirmary too. Because then your people will actually heal from injuries, which is the you know the gray bar, right? Cause it looks like she's injured. Hey, it's been a while since I've heard a new voice out there. Yeah. Feel free to pipe up anytime you like. Okay. Yo. Yo. Mm. All right, I see him. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> what's the number it's one? To, well, what's the number one thing? Gas. Uh -huh, there you go. But I don't know if I have any more. Okay. Well then, you gotta go find some. Here, okay. right, I'll do this for you. Come on. Just for this one time, because we gotta get you more people. To them, unless he doesn't chase. Oh yeah, he's coming. We'd better give that feral a wide berth. Yeah, get in here. Yeah. Get him, friends. Oh, cool. they help. Yeah, they help. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, so Beat him up. Everyone starts attacking. Oh no! <laughs> oh, finish him. There you go. Nope. Oh. Got out. Oh, no. Oh, Finish it off. Five minute timer. Hey, yo. Uh, Here. Oh, I don't have one. Where's your cure? It's in. Oh, it's with the other. It's All with right. the girl. Alright, get in, get in, get in. Yeah, I don't have any cures on me. Yeah. Ferals are the leading cause oh for Oh, my death. God. Yeah. They only hit me like twice. Well, his attacks are multi, are multi strikes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Trying to explain and drive, not a good idea. If I don't get medical help, illness will be the least of my concerns. And it has to be a medicine, right? It can't be just infirmary. You can go check him in. 
Go check, check him in. Check him in. Like now. Like run. Yeah. And just quick. Switch to. Your switch. tree plague infections. No, no. Check him in. Just like you would the others. Yeah, I just did. Checked in to confirm. Okay, cool. Is that it? No, he's not checked in. There's okay. this thing that says check him in. I'm heading to the doctor. There you go. Is he in? Yeah. Now he's in. Okay, cool. Now it stopped. The timer stopped, right? So now okay. we're good. Now she has the cure, right? Yeah. Okay, so go over to him and go view treatment. Aid blood Hello aid there. victim. Yeah. So I just give it to him? Yeah. Right. Uh, give to survivor space. Okay. And then... Oh, Hello oh. there. And then he uses it? Right? No, there should be a little uh, cutscene where you administer it to him. No. Okay, so you actually handed it to him. You act as his inventory? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that? No, not that. Yeah. So take from the survivor? Yeah, take, take that back. Okay. And then right. it says, so it says, don't ask treatment. me how I'm feeling yeah. okay. unless you want the truth. Don't uh, shoot him. Yeah. Give cure for survivor to use. There you go. Hey, stay with me. We're going to get you better. If it works, it works. Jesus, does that have to be in the neck? Yeah. Oh. That's <laughs> to oh. be in the neck. <laughs> oh my God. Because they stop it from taking over your brain. I feel great. The worst is behind me. So. There he is. He's cured now. Okay. All right. Now I want to make another one just in case that happens again. Go for it. Oh my gosh. Welcome to this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean amazing? Med stockpile well, low. You look alive. Yeah. Keep it up. You never want to go to zero ever. Yeah, I'm only at one. That's bad. But yeah, yeah. at least you're at one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, is she injured at all? Um, she has the head icon on like the very end of Look, the health bar. Uh, okay. How yeah. much of the health bar is I taken? I've seen the people around here Not this much, maybe like in a long 5%. time. Okay, cool. Then yeah, you can take her then if you want. Okay. You want to? Yeah. Okay. Let's Go back to this nonsense. Alright. Gosh, I need gas, I need medical supplies, I need people. Mm -hmm. And you know the best part? Huh. This is why we say play multi, right? Because yeah. you're giving me a bunch of money. And I gave you, I didn't realize how much money I gave you for you just playing with me that little. Oh, yeah, I had yeah. almost 2,000 credits. That's a lot of money. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is why we say always play with each other, because it helps you, you know? Mm hmm. All right, now talk to the, now select the mission and talk to the dude. Uh, oh, that which one was that again? That was the. It's the welcome to the party. It's okay. always welcome to the party. Okay, and here we go. Hmm. And then you get money. You get money for this too. You know. Okay. Now what? Okay. Now. For freedom. If you want hey, to. Hey, what's poppin'? You want to? You can learn about them, and you're looking. You're looking oh, his for things. Assault is really good. That's okay. That's the shooting, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay, when you're looking for people like this, you're either looking mm -hmm. for blanks or assaults. You can. Some people come with golds, which that hey, guy does, right? Yeah. But you're looking for things to improve your your community. Which after this, I'm going to talk about the most. This is probably the most important part about maintaining the community, which are your traits. More important than resources, because resources always so run nice out. So nice to see you. We'll talk about morality. Ooh, wow! Her engineering is like insane. Nice. So she's an engineer. Yeah. That's awesome. What up? Okay. So what do we got today? Yeah, and I think I would pick Nancy out of these three. All right. Well, you know what to do. Hello there. So recruit to your community. We could use someone with your skills on our team. Hey, good to see you again. Oh, I have to grab her, right? Yep, grab her. So nice to see you. And then enlist. 
I need mm -hmm. you for something? Come on. Okay. Of course I'll go with you. Okay. Okay. And then that person looks friendly. I went through some tough times back when. Got so bad I could barely afford ramen. Aww. Of course. My Our dog's crew always just got runs fed away. Me. That's so sad. Gotta have mm -hmm. your priorities, right? So, and also when you're hanging out with someone, right? Uh huh. They can have like epiphanies, right? Or they okay. can get to know you, and then their traits will change. So you can make. So the more you you hang out with someone, you can actually um, get rid of their negative traits or help them bond. You know. Mm -hmm. Just, just so you know. But okay, cool. Now we get this person back. So get them inside. What's up? Now, cool. You have, you have a, a standard team. That's four people. And then. I'm listening. And then dismiss, right? Mm hmm. Take care now. Okay. Now, Fashion Wars. All right. <laughs> it's like Ed's running a marathon. My brain! There's just, there's so much to this game. Yeah, it's fun. People, oh, yeah, yeah. we can't afford to be serene about the things Wait, we can do actually change. Wait, how do I do this again? Change. It's... Okay, oh, it's under. Try real hard. You can get a piece of candy if you do. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> Just trust yourself. Don't think about it too much. Just, you know, trust the first thought in your head. Not. Press M. M to community. And if you really like these, you know, raincoats, you can put everyone in a raincoat. Even the guy is funny. Oh, she has third minus thirty three percent weapon repair parts cost. And where are that you looking at? Where are you looking at that? The community tab. Yeah, under okay. Well we'll get to that. Just fashion wars her and then we'll get ready to do the next thing. Okay. Um I am gonna be leaving in a bit, so I know. Twenty minutes, nineteen minutes. Oh. Sooner. No, I remember. Uh, so we're gonna talk about this last part. Yeah. Engineering a tight outfit. Well, oh. yeah. first, first, before you start going through all that, first, fashion uh -huh. wars are up, right? Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. How's it going? I'm looking through the physics. Oh, I thought you looked through her skills. I was like, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Hey, so Nancy, nice what's up? nice to see you. Take care. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. I don't have any of the ones that would work. That would work for what? Her fashion, skin complexion, her eyes? Or mechanic inspired. Mechanic inspired. Alright. Well, let's just do. Yeah, combat T. There you go, combat, because. There we go. All right. Okay. So same same thing, right? Go to your community tab, right? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna just select one, right? Don't switch to okay. them. Just select them, and it will give. And then it will give them on the right on the right side. It will say like their name, um, health, their morale. Like right now, my my people are depressed, right? Yeah. Um, all depressed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next is called standing, right? Standing is they're standing in the community, okay? Mm -hmm. Why this matters is they also get another ability called the hero ability, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you hover over it, will say it will tell you what it is. Uh, recruit, citizen, hero. Those are the only three ranks. All right, so when you get out of a recruit, because I don't know if you can see it, look for someone who's like a citizen, hover over it, and then it will tell you what their hero ability is, right? And you can go right and left from here. Okay. So okay. they don't have it yeah. unlocked yet, but... Yeah, but it tells you what it so, is. Yeah, I see. 
and then underneath that is their leadership meaning everyone can become a, anyone can become a leader and there's four different types of leaders there's a builder a warlord a sheriff and a why do I always forget the last one warlord what trader builder trader oh I love traders yeah and then the trader yeah so this is how you can see what okay there's that right so uh -huh. if you get everyone to a hero you will have X amount of different um, passives going on all at the same time so, for okay. example, your your raincoat lady, right? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she has plus one medicine per day. It's one of the rare traits. Uh, I don't see that. What do you see when you look at her standing? Um, hero bonus morning yoga, minus 25% injury severity. Oh. And leadership right. trader. Oh, I guess it's different. Never mind. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot. I uh, actually found somebody who didn't even have one that's lame <laughs> like you're not helpful <laughs> okay now the next one right the next oh. thing we're going to go over is traits this is probably one of the most important parts about keeping your your community together okay okay so traits these are always different way different okay so if you just hover over it it will give you a short thing green means good red means red means bad okay okay so okay just you know, say whatever. What, what's the traits you're looking at? So this mechanical engineer, former pacifist, and dog person. Cool. So when you read it, does it have any, like, red or green? I see one white, one green. Hey. No red. Okay, cool. For her. Good. That's, that's, that's great. That means she has no... She doesn't have anything that would hurt the community, per se, right? Cute. All my guys don't have red. Or all of my people. And that's what you want. You want people that won't cause fights. Red yeah. usually means that they will cause something. Now, do you see how it's? They have a white writing where it says like affected skills, right? Uh huh. That that basically affects a lot of things. Now, for example, when you're you know when you're looting, you know how you think it's random, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what you find is based off these traits. So if you send your engineer out there, you're gonna find more engineered like things. Like in real life, like if uh... I you know. So you'll find more parts, materials, um, uh, circuit boards, stuff to build things, you know? Mm -hmm. And if you send, like, a, a military personnel who has a military background, they'll find more bullets and guns, you know? Yeah. So that's something to keep account of, you know? And also, this is also how it could reduce your traits. Like, one, one I have one guy who who's, is a lung cancer survivor. Okay, and what that does is I can never have full cardio. So I can never have a gold cardio. I can never have okay. max, right? That, that's what it does, you know? But he has, like, a, uh, a morale boost because he, you know, values life or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So this is very important. It's not going to look like it right now, but later on as you advance in the game and you master it, this becomes a big deal because there are people that don't like this person is no it's let's get something else it's, the way our fuel supply looks, looking at? i'm looking at one of my guys right okay. Oh, okay so for this this guy right um sean right. He, from okay, my just tell yeah. me about it because i can't see what yeah, you're saying. yeah i'm gonna tell you about it for sean he's an astronomer will drink anything and he's hold uh hold up at a farm okay so okay. the good ones are astronomer doesn't affect anything he just says he doesn't get any passives Hold up at a farm. He gets a morale boost from large uh, slots that are farms. So that's good. How's it right? going? But we'll drink anything. He gets a morale boost from stills and bars, but he will sometimes waste medicine because he'll just drink medicine. Ugh. Yikes. So that's just a trait. So a person can have up to four traits. So if they're all negative like that, where they're just like waste things or get angry, right? It could really bring down your community. So from this screen, um, go back to viewing all of it. So I would say press B once, right? So view the community, not the individual, right? Okay. From here, oh, I guess you have to view them. All yeah. right, maybe you don't. Anyway, at the bottom right, it says like exile. So if one okay. person gets out of hand and you just can't help them or they're causing fights or injuring people, you can exile that person, you know? Okay. I'm assuming before you do that, you should take all their equipment. Yes, because they take everything with them. 
Or okay. you could do what some people do where you just send him out on a mission. If he lives, you know how they're infected, right? Mm -hmm. You can you can check him in and then euthanize him. Okay. That's like an easier way because I say easier because if you exile a person, right? Uh huh. They there's a chance they will come back and try to kill you. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah. So every you know how you're like right now you're in the tutor tutorial, so it's giving you yeah. very easy choices, right? Uh -huh. But throughout the game, based on what you do, right? How you feel? Based on what you do, and it is true by the way. Based on what. Okay, then I need to check out this whatever because I had a video. I literally have a video where I ticked someone off and then they ambushed me and killed one of my people. It was an hey there. It was an individual. Okay, whatever. Point is, when you make certain oh. when you make certain choices in, in missions, right? Yeah. It will have effects. Okay. So people will hate you or it will show up later. So, for example, I won't talk about the exile because Stacey says I'm wrong about that. And I'll believe it for now until I see it otherwise. But one thing I know is true. I was hanging out with, um, I did a mission, right? Because sometimes they're asking you to, based on your leader, they're asking you to, like, settle disputes and stuff, right? So I remember I settled a dispute. One person got mad. When I went looting, I someone called for help. I went to help him. It was the same person, but I didn't realize that. And she took out a gun and started shooting me and killed my character. Because I okay. thought I was fighting zombies, yeah. So th that's the part I know you will enjoy, where what you do will affect your world, will affect certain outcomes, right? Mm -hmm. So when someone says, hey, help me quick or I'm going to die, there's a chance you can help some of those survivors. There's a chance, you know, that you could actually save them from dying, or if you take too long, you might get there and they'll be dead or a zombie, you know? Yeah. So it that's where the fun comes in. Uh, this basic stuff takes a little bit, but once you get the basics of this, you can jump in and out. Then you can explore that stuff, and that stuff is really great because you it's never the same story twice, you know. Mm -hmm. It's really fun, so hopefully, you retain that. But that's that's the best part of or the most important part about figuring out not only uh, the, the skills, uh, yeah, they're literally called skills, skills and traits and standing. The, those three create help create your class if you want to create like a class kind of thing, and also helps them in the community. So, you're all you're trying to get skill combined with the person being nice enough to exist in a community without causing problems, you know? Yeah. Now, I have a question. If one of your characters is happy, mm -hmm. like has high morale, can they bring others' morale up? If they have a trait for it. Yeah. Like, okay. So, for for example, right? Mm -hmm. um, Brady has morale bonus from an upgraded lounge. Does that only affect him or the whole community? Okay, so here... To answer this without talking a lot, go to your base, yeah. right? Okay. And then click over to, um, you see like a morale bar, right? This is like che cheerful, yeah. depressed. Yeah. Hover over that or press or select it, press uh, left click on it or something, right? And it will give you a mm -hmm. breakdown of everything. So Brady, when he gets a morale boost, right? He yeah. will just increase that number. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, nice. yeah. And, uh, oh, and, so when people are injured, mm -hmm. it affects the morale. Yes, it does. And when people, when you have high morale, you will level up faster. It's like having a, like a experience booster up, right? Nice. Okay. And when people are happy, they will go out by themselves, right? This is why I say have a lot of people, right? If people are happy, they will go out and scavenge things for you. They will get you free loot and give it to you. Okay. But all that next time. Yeah. Oh, Brady's gonna be great for morale. Yeah, Brady sounds pretty cool. But that's, he has three greens. Green. Uh, yeah, well, he's amazing, man. But yeah, uh, and that's why that's the only bad part about recruiting someone. They will not let you see their traits, but you can see their skills. Uh, so, so it's there's a risk. There's a risk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you, like I said, you can change these traits by spending time with them. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. Like, if they tell you something or they work through something with you, then a trait will change or they will add one or they'll lose one of their bad ones, you know? Like, because I had a bully yeah. one time, so I just picked fights, you know? Okay. 
We're gonna go before. I just wanted to hmm. test. Um, oh. Hey there. Yeah, come on, yes. come and shoot these things. So Time you, to go risk if my you neck crouch again. and fire, oh, they will not hear you. Yeah. How do you crouch? How do you crouch? Hold your dodge or. Never mind. Just, 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 yeah. just fire. Yeah. And they, they won't hear. They only hear where the shot hit. So you see how they turned and they ignore you. You're 100 percent stealth right now, so they will yeah, not. Awesome. Yeah. And your, and your arrow is on the ground, so you can go get it back. That's so funny. They just look and then. Mm -hmm. turn as long on. as they All don't right. hear you, yeah. I want them to pass so I can go pick up the arrow. Yeah, if you if you learn how to stealth, I don't know what the key is, right? You can walk over. Oh, it's control. Okay, control. control, yeah. And if you look on the minimap, you're not making any noise. So they won't uh -huh. turn, just like a bow. But yeah, so you can get both your arrows mm -hmm. back because they didn't break. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like armor. Yeah. I always stock up on bows just to always have extra to give to new players or new recruits because it's really useful. Especially with the yeah. sidearm, you can have one lethal in case things get ugly. But if you want to stay stealth, you can just have the br the bow as a as a primary. So now you know how to recruit. So whenever you're hanging out with me, and if you lose people and they start dying, right? Yeah, I then... used a good amount of the resource I had though for that. Yeah. So what you can do is you can take out the workshop, like go in your base management, deconstruct it. You get refunded 100% of the materials back, mm -hmm. and then you can put it towards your infirmary too, and that will take off injuries. And. Um, so let, let's say you're hanging out. This is the last thing, I promise, because I got okay. four minutes. All right. So you know the, the car thing, right? Hey the there. Trans, the transferring thing, right? Uh-huh. Say you're hanging out with me, right? And, and yep. you find a material bag, right? You can give that to your base instead of mine. Okay. So you just – and it will show you on the bottom right, right? And you can – so even though you're hanging out with me, you can get materials for your community – like materials, meds, whatever, and bam. So you know how right now you don't have a medical two, right? Mm -hmm. You can come into my world because I have a medical three, and your people will use my medical building. Okay. So this is I can't encourage enough. Play with friends. Yeah. You know, I will give you a leg up, and it's one of the few games where you you know me normally I hate that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. This game is hard enough to where it actually is a benefit to work with friends, and I don't feel bad doing that because it's it's just fun. There's a good challenge to it, you know. Yeah. You don't have to put any handicaps to yourself. So utilize so you stand friends. on the grill. This is realistic. It is realistic. Feet <laughs> turn on fire. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, and if you kill infestations, they raise your morale. But anyway, that we'll just leave it like that. We'll let let you simmer with that. Yeah. But that's those are the important ones: fashion, uh, fashion wars, traits, skills. Stuff like I might that. do team raincoat. I'm kind of liking this, just with like a different color. You should. There's a, there's what seven different colors. I think I'll do that. Cool. Ne next thing we'll show you is um, Mr. Cash. Next time, that's the bounty hunter. Okay. Yeah, that's another way to get like another. It's like a an arsenal, like a black merchant guy you can buy from. Okay. So, all right, cool. I'll get out of your world because you hate. So it auto saves everything. Yes. 